Hi guys, it's Katie and I have my grocery haul here. I bit my tongue really badly this morning, so it's kind of like, I feel like I have a funny, I feel like I'm talking funny and it's kind of weird to talk. Anyway, I went to H Mart today, I spent about $25. I also have my meal, uh, my meat pickup this week, so I'll show that, that when I get it later on in the week. Um, let's see, I didn't get very much. I have, I'll show you my meal plan. I have two meals this week um, that we're going to be eating with family. That came in from out of town for the holiday, so I'm not responsible for two meals this week. Um, so these are just for the rest of the week. I'm going to make burrito bowl. I haven't made this in the longest time. I actually have this video on my channel. It was like one of the very first cooking videos I did. But basically you just um, like poach chicken breast in salsa and then you shred it up and you just use that as the base of kind of like a chipotle burrito bowl. So you can put rice and um, some shredded lettuce and you know I usually put like black beans and cilantro and lime um, just basically anything you want you can put cheese and guacamole whatever um, so we're gonna have that I'm gonna have adobo chicken with rice uh, so that's like Filipino adobo chicken rice chicken uh, sloppy joes kimchi jjigae which is Korean kimchi stew with pork and tofu um, hamburgers and potato salad. I'm not sure if it's going to be hamburgers or venison burgers. Just uh, I gotta see what's going on in my freezer situation. And then potato salad and then um, venison stew. I actually got another load of venison from my brother. So that was nice. Um, oh, let's see. It's, I kind of just threw everything here. I got a big thing of um, black beans just because I like to have dry beans on hand and uh, it was a good price. So black beans for burrito bowl and just to have. I got chicken. I got um, chicken quarters and then chicken wings were on sale. I'll probably grill those the night that I make the hamburgers and we'll just have kind of chicken wings on the side. Um, my husband loves chicken wings but it seems like I have to make a lot and it seems like it ends up being a very expensive meal like to satisfy us. We can't just eat like a few wings. We gotta eat plenty of wings, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe we're just little piggies. Anyway, I got this cauliflower because it was a good price. Scallions will be for the kimchi jjigae. I'll probably put some in the potato salad as well. This is um, a really small Korean radish that will be for the kimchi jjigae. I got zucchini. Uh, I might make this into a side dish on the night that we have the Korean food. I might also grill them. Um, I'm not sure. They were just a good price. Got some bananas, some limes for the burrito bowl, jalapenos. I didn't get um, salsa. Usually I just use like cheap jarred salsa, but they don't have that at H Mart. So I'll probably just make my own. I have a recipe for that too. But basically I just take canned tomatoes, a little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of jalapeno, and a little bit of lime juice. And I blend it like in my food processor or in my blender. Because it's just going to be to cook the chicken with. So it doesn't need to be anything special. So I got some jalapenos for that and then lettuce. And the last thing back there is tofu for the kimchi jjigae. So that's what I got at H Mart. I'll go ahead and put the clip in from the meat haul. Hopefully my tongue feels better and I don't feel like I'm talking out of the side of my face. Alright guys, I'm back. I have the rest of my grocery haul for this week. I went and picked up my meat share. So I got my um, two dozen eggs. I got a two pack. These really nice looking um, pork chops. Got some bratwurst. These are... They're uncured, they don't have any nitrates or anything like that, all natural, so I'm excited to try those. And a five pound chicken, so we'll be able to roast that up maybe next week. And then I stopped at Wegmans on the way home. This is just a little bit right here. It was $37, so some kind of high ticket items, but uh, I guess it is what it is. I have my monthly, um, like my add up for all my monthly budget for March. It does not include this, so I'll have to add this to next month since I had already added it up before I went to Wegmans. Um, but anyway, I got some chicken breast, so I'll use some of that for the burrito bowl, and then there'll be plenty to pack up and have in the freezer. I got some frozen cherries. We've been using these for potty incentives. I don't know why I chose this. They're so expensive, but whatever. I guess we're kind of stuck with it now. And hopefully it doesn't go on and on and on forever. But anyway... Um, these were, it's $10 for these. It's um, three pounds, so it's quite a bit. They last a long time. I was using them for smoothies and stuff, but I think this bag will just save for that purpose, so they will last a little bit longer. I did end up getting some cheapy salsa to cook the chicken breast in for the burrito bowl. <laughs> I am so stupid. I got the um, 
Dairy Free Ben and Jerry's. I already did a review on it on my channel. And I wanted to try the other flavors. I was going to get them later on. Anyway, they had them at Wegmans. And they were 50 cents cheaper than what I bought them for. But they're still $5.49. So kind of ridiculous for this small amount. But anyway, I don't know. This sale price tricked me. I lost all of my <laughs> convictions and I bought this. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stash this in the back of the freezer and have it later on. I don't need to be eating pint after pint of ice cream. But this is the peanut butter chocolate cookie like Oreo cookies and cream but peanut butter ice cream sounds amazing um, and then the Dio was also on sale so I'll put this also in the freezer I usually get like two pizza meals per bag so this will be quite a bit and it freezes really nicely especially if you're just gonna put it on pizza so that's everything that I got I'll grab my budget and show you what I spent in March alright so here is my breakdown for March I had a little arithmetic error but 395.19. So I made it under $400 this month. Um, I was trying my best just to buy what I needed for my meals and not go crazy. Uh, I have a very well stocked pantry, even though I've kind of been trying to eat out of the pantry. So that's nice. Um, There's a few weeks where I was just buying like $20 or $30 worth of produce and you know a few odds and ends. So um, if you, what's interesting, if you look back my previous years, March is a low month for me for the last two years. So I don't know if it's just kind of like me buckling down, um, but the last year I did pretty decent in March, and then I went crazy in April and in May and June. wasn't much better, um, but for some reason March I seem to be able to get my act together. So hopefully it continues. Anyway, so 395.19 is what I spent this month altogether this year. 1296.44. And my cumulative average is $432.15, so it's going down from $450 to $432. Um, so I would need to have a few more, like lower than $400 months to bring this down, like as an overall $400 a month budget. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, it helps that my brother gave me a bunch of free venison, um, but then I'm buying kind of more expensive meat when I can. So I don't know. We'll see. It's a work in progress. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to say goodbye for this week. I'll see you next Friday at noon for my next grocery haul. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.